Moving on. Let's get into some Shub Show shit from last week. So Shub Show from last week was fairly entertaining. I got a couple of clips here I want to play for you guys. The first clip, the first clip is an interesting one. Because in this clip, Brendan says that Showtime were kind of forcing him to cover Bellator interesting development or insight that we probably didn't know about previously he's now accusing showtime of not understanding the mma environment industry scene whatever it may be and that they were trying to get him to cover bellator when really the ufc is the only competition the only fight league in the game bellator doesn't matter who cares about fucking bellator it's only ufc which is interesting because it also shows why showtime would have you know basically told Brendan to kick rocks. It makes sense now, right? Because he wasn't willing to do any of the work. <laughs> you know what I mean? He was. It's kind of like it's weird because he's all, he's basically admitting that he didn't want to do more work than what he had to. He only went to cover the UFC because that's what he knows. But he didn't want to research a new fight league. He didn't want to research names or whatever. He just went to do the UFC stuff and that's it. But he's kind of admitting it as a way to like show that bellator didn't understand what they were doing or really it's making him look bad but hey you know this is this is fucking brendan so let's play the clip here i think what is it at? it's at twenty seven ten, and then let's play him saying what he's saying it's a very interesting development here brendan's saying that showtime asked him to or forced him to cover bellator when he didn't want to let's play it for you here discovery the worst it is for the ufc my, my only question is so how's ufc different than like i know how they're different in aspects of the NFL are employees. The players are employees. They're not subcontracted. Yeah. The UFC says they're not employees. They're subcontracted. So, the, you know, the union, all that stuff. All right, cool. I'm, I'm just curious how the NFL is not a monopoly. The NBA is not a monopoly. There's somebody way smart who can explain this. Who's pulling their hair out right now. Like, this <laughs> is why I get it. I'm just, I, it's just a simple question. How can the NFL and NBA and MLB do it? And the UFC can't. How are they different than that? Now is Oh come on. Load for fuck's sake. I'm I'm just curious how the NFL's not a monopoly. The NBA's not a monopoly. There's somebody way smarter who can explain this who's pulling their hair out right now. Like this is why I get it. I'm just I, it's just a simple question. How can the NFL and NBA and MLB do it? And the UFC can't. How are they different than that? Now, is it just because they're Fighters are labeled as sub subcontracted, so they don't have to share as much revenue and health benefits and stuff like that. And for one, I thought you nearly said sub cock tractors, sub cock tractors. I thought you had to say that. Days and retirement and compensation. I assume that's how the UFC finagles their way around it, saying they're subcontracted. We don't have to give them that much money. Where the NFL can't do that, NBA can't do that, even though they're monopolies. Yeah. Nobody knows, do they? I do. Just a bunch it's, of Hey, maybe you find out yourself, in it, right? Maybe you do some research and find out a little bit about yourself, no? Maybe. Okay, people saying the video's quiet. Okay, cool. It's just it's not my fault, it's the fucking video itself. So can I lower higher it? Let, let me wait for a second. Apologies the video's a bit quiet. Let me add, let me actually add a filter. Let me see if I can put up the gain on here. Maybe one second. Let's put it up to about Let's do eight. Let's do eight dB. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's go crazy. Let's do eight dB. Let's see what that's saying. So, so, so <laughs> yeah, we're dumb. But I mean, that makes sense. That every other big league has a players' union. They, they have to collectively because bargain. They're employees. Yeah, yeah, because mm -hmm. they're in it together. The UFC is not. Mm -hmm. It's the UFC or bust. So the UFC is basically it's subcontracted. Whatever they can benefit from them as being contractors, and then whatever they can benefit them as being actual employees, they're trying to do the employee thing, but they're contractors. That's why there's yes. like a yeah, discrepancy. Yeah. So certain time, like you have to you have to wear this Venom outfit. Okay, but we're subcontracted. Yeah, the likeness stuff was yeah. also crazy. And too. we also own your name and likeness. Yeah. Okay, but we're subcontracted. Subcon because you're treating us like employees. Big up Stinger Goo. like we're subcontracted. Mm -hmm. Jake Paul fight tonight, I think, in a couple hours. Oz fight companion. Now, probably not, Sarlax. Like, I don't give a fuck about Jake Paul, to be fair. I'm, I'm over paying attention to those fights. Big up Stinger Goo, appreciate you. Bop is like that he got hired by 1FC. Oh, yeah, true. I forgot about that lie, innit? Did he say he's going to be the 1FC official media partner or some shit? What happened to that? You're right. That's a complete lie, isn't it? Bloody hell. Um, yeah, um, 
But yeah, Salah, because I'm not going to watch that. No, I'm not watching Jake Paul stuff. I've, what, I don't know. What's the last fight I watched? What was it? Oh, the Tommy Fury one, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not doing it again. They sold me. You know what I mean, they fucking scammed me one one time. They're not gonna get me again. They're not gonna get me again on that. I'm, I'm done. I'm done watching those YouTube fights. I'd much rather watch rough and rowdy type things than do that. No way. No, thank you. So I, I assume these lawyers are way smarter. You'd be surprised, man. Way yeah. smarter than me. That's their <laughs> argument. Oh yeah, the watcher. They're, it wasn't even like employed. It, like it wasn't even Fury, was it? It was fucking Dylan and Paul. Yeah, like they're subcontract and they have no benefits. They have no leverage here. And then they control the entire market. So they got to be employees. Yeah, we'll see what happens. It would be cool if they said on, okay, they're employees, we're going to give them benefits, but we won't pay $5 billion. That's probably best case scenario. Where it changes the game forever, they're employees, they get their benefits, and they get compensation. They have to pay like the NFL or NBA of 50% or 47%, whatever they come to agreement to, but they don't have to pay that lump sum fine of five plus billion dollars because that's going to make them go belly up, and then we don't have a job. It'd be tough, yeah. Others, oh, if this show is based on PFL Bellator, why do you think Showtime went belly up? Oh, I told you, beast of a businessman, eh? Brendan basically saying Showtime and Showtime went under because they wouldn't listen to him. Imagine the ego you'd have to have to say that the entire network went under because they wouldn't take your advice. Brendan, the leader of Thick Boy Network with such blockbuster hits like The Golden Hour and The Shorb Show and Food Truck Diaries, which doesn't happen anymore. He's now saying that if Showtime wouldn't listen to him, they would have maybe still been in business. They focused on PFL and Bellator and not fucking UFC. You gotta love it. You gotta love Brendan. You gotta love the ego to think that your advice was the one. I'm PFL Bellator? Why do you think Showtime went belly up? <laughs> I told him you can't have a business off Bellator. It was my <laughs> number one disagreement with Showtime. I'm sure that's not true. I'm sure there's somebody out there who only covers Bellator and does very good for themselves. Very well for themselves, sorry. I'm pretty sure there's probably less people out there covering Bellator than UFC. So if you're a content creator or you're a network and you focus, hyper-focus on a league that isn't getting enough of media attention and you use it as a way to kind of prop yourself up and to signal boost that network or that platform or that fight league, you might actually do well for yourself. I'm sure they exist. I'm sure there's YouTubers, content creators in general who only cover PFL, Bellator, um, what's Khabib's fight league, right? Eagle, whatever it is, who do pretty well for themselves. So hyper specification is actually a thing. It can actually work for you. Maybe obviously the UFC, UFC is the biggest league and everyone knows the UFC fight league. Um, they know the fighters way more. They know Dana. They know everything about it, right? It's the one that's obviously the most well known. But if you actually want to be successful and carve out a bit, a bit of a niche for yourself, a bit of a niche, a bit of a niche, you probably should cover stuff like be a better tour. And anything, forget all that. If you're a former professional fighter, it doesn't matter what the fight league is. You're going to be interested in all, all forms of fighting. All forms of combat sports you're going to like. It doesn't matter if it's a, a league in people's garden, whatever it may be, you're going to be interested in it or keep an eye open for it because you're interested in fighting. You love fighting. You love to see new fighters come up. So it doesn't matter what it is. European leagues, whatever, you're going to be fucking into it. So the fact that he isn't, it's probably the most casual thing he said, to be honest, isn't it? That's quite a casual thing to say. I only care about the UFC. I don't care about any other league. It's like, didn't you used to fight though? Aren't you involved in the fight business? Isn't your one and half of your business funded on fighting? Why would you only care about one league? I can't do a show covering Bellator. Why? Nobody tunes in. And again, only views. It, it, this is another indication of why Brendan's career is where it's at. Only cares about the views. Only cares about the money. Not covering things just for the passion, just because he's interested in it anyway. Nah, if he doesn't bring views, what's the point? Oh, yeah. we disagree. We just got to build it. Nah, I'm telling you, you can't do it. Of course, if you can't, if you don't want to do it, then you're not going to build it. And if you don't build it, it's not going to happen. But again, weird, weird way to speak about Bellator when he was allegedly the one FC fight, you know, media partner or some shit. Remember that lie he made up as well? That was a fucking crazy lie. Now he's saying that Bellator does not matter. Bellator is basically blockbuster. They would force, right? They would force me to cover Bellator, and that was my contract. That you know they had investment in Bellator. So remember, you guys would get, make sure Brennan covers Bellator this and Bellator that. I'm like, there's nothing there, man. Jesus Nobody Christ. cares. Look at look at the proofs in the pudding. Talk about UFC, you get this. Talk about Bellator, you get this. It's very clear. 
again, they had investment into Bellator, and I get it. Scott Coker's great. Absolutely love Scott Coker. So there we go. There we go. Brendan basically saying he does not think that Showtime would have been successful because they were focused on Bellator. And again, it's just another indictment of just how short-sighted and narrow-minded he is when it comes to sports. Because I still think the Showtime deal and fucking it up or, you know, basically pissing up a wall, that was definitely one of his biggest faux pas and such an avoidable thing to do. Because if anything, all he had to do was put a little bit of effort into that show, um, a little bit of research, a little bit of preparation, and he would have had a lifelong partnership with Showtime that probably would have rolled into other things in the future also. But the fact that they binned him as soon as the contract was up, didn't renew it, and then signed Luke Thomas and Brian Campbell, who were doing absolute numbers after the fact, really made him look horrible, especially when you think that he was a former pro fighter. Do you know what I mean? He had no, you know, he it was it was embarrassing that he was in that situation in the first place, you know, depending on Showtime the way he was. But then when you are depending on them and they're using you as a sort of a um, marquee, right? They, I think if you if I remember correctly, Brendan signing to Showtime was also a big deal because that was the first time they really got heavy into MMA. So they basically were trying to get into MMA by using Brendan as like the main guy. And it didn't it didn't work out. And obviously they went to sign Luke Thomas and Brian Campbell, who then ended up doing really well in terms of the show, the prep, the information, the entertainment, all that good stuff. So this is another indication of why it never worked out because he just never got the long game. US was very short-sighted, only saw the UFC, didn't see it any bigger than anything else. And now it's transpired that, you know, look at what Francis is doing with the PFL. Look what all these other fight leagues are doing now. They're all coming up again. They're merging, all these sort of things. Like it's actually becoming quite competitive, I think, in a fight league world. I think if you're an actual fight fan, you like, actually love it now more than ever because yes the UFC is still the number one you know league in the game but if you're an actual fight fan watching you know Bellator cards watching PFL cards is actually quite entertaining nowadays because there's loads of fighters out there the UFC can't sign everybody um, and some people would rather you know fight in a league where they maybe have a little bit more leverage um, the contract's a little bit better negotiated wherever it may be um, and obviously they put on good for fun fights as well so I think all of that stuff it's proof that the fight game, if anything, is more healthy than it's ever been. You know, the UFC maybe doesn't have as strong as a monopoly it maybe did in the past. So if he would have invested some more time in the Bellator thing, maybe, you know, there'd be some room to kind of grow into the PFL thing also. But he already, you know, it was quite anti-PFL as soon as fucking Francis signed there. So it's no surprise that he has that point of view. It's absolutely no surprise. 